Hi everyone, it's Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This tutorial is about the lower, upper, and proper formulas. So let's take a look at my fake data set. Let's pretend that somebody sent you a data set and maybe it has names of evaluators like this one, names of schools, names of students, names of nonprofit organizations, whatever type of data that you're working with. And maybe some of your cells here that have text in them are all uppercase. This can cause problems in your formulas later. Um, for example, it can cause problems with VLOOKUP, but it's also just plain ugly to look at, staring at that data for that long. So this is where lower, upper, and proper come in handy. Okay, lower, upper, and proper. Lower, you just type in equals lower, and it's gonna turn everything into lowercase letters. So you just click on your data that's all uppercase, close your parentheses, press enter, and you get the same exact text, but in lowercase letters. Equals upper turns everything into uppercase, so we'll click on this one, close your parentheses, press enter, and you get an again in uppercase letters. Proper is the best of both worlds. Excel automatically knows to capitalize the first letter and make the rest lowercase. So we'll click on this cell here, close your parentheses, press enter, and you get an uppercase A and lowercase n's. Now we can select all these three values, look for this little square in the lower right hand corner, double click right on it, and you get your values filled in all the way down your sheet. Perfect. Now I'm just going to delete these two columns, so highlight them, right click, click on delete, and we'll get them out of the way, because this is the data that I'm really interested in, the proper values. So there you have it, lower, upper, and proper. Thank you.